Of all the plastic ever made since about the 1950s, half of it was made just in the past two decades, which is really shocking. And so the Two Oceans Aquarium is really proud to be able to bring together relevant role players seeking solutions and sharing successes as well. So that's what we're doing here today. Right now in South Africa, we're the 11th worst country in the world when it comes to our pollution. In terms of plastics and the oceans and the, and the objectives of the Two Oceans Aquarium, they're really quite simple. Our vision is abundant and healthy oceans for life, and our mission is through inspiring action for the future well-beings of the ocean. We are all aware of the problem, and we all want to make a change. We do not have the answers or solutions for this problem, but we need a solution to come from every stakeholder in the value chain. Everybody's asking where are the answers, and it's right with us every day, and that is the kids. I feel as if uh, there's so much we can do. It might not make a difference now, but it will make a difference in our future. I find it really inspiring to be in a room full of people that are all working towards reducing single-use plastic. We do this work sometimes in what feels like isolation, but events like today's summit remind us that we're part of a larger community, and it's only through the creation of larger social movements that we can affect global change. The plastic pollution crisis is real and it's on everybody's lips globally. So the call to action is for us all to become less of a single-use plastic consumer. I think we can refuse single-use plastic because it's a very bad thing. Look around you, look at what you consume, what's in your house, what's at the restaurant, your neighborhood grocery store, and see if you can make waste an issue of the past. I think it's one of the environmental movements that really have caught on and captured the public's attention. I really think we will solve the issue in the next few years. If we get together and maintain the urgency and momentum of this issue, we can fix this within one generation. It's the collective will of citizens, of corporates, and I think it's lots of little things that collectively will make that difference. If I could create one change around the issue of plastic pollution, it would be to have manufacturers and the producers of plastic take responsibility for what happens at the end life of their products. And I think if we instituted that sort of producer responsibility, we would start to see circular economies emerge, and that would really cut out the issue of pollution in our oceans. We ask people to be heard, have a voice, use your voice, and be very clear that there is a job to be done here to look after this planet. It's that power of togetherness. Because individually, it's impossible. But together, we can do more. It's time to say no and refuse single-use plastic. And make the world a better place. <laughs>